and welcome back to the channel uh, right in front of me I have a very proud moment um, I was working on the LS yesterday and I figured I'll just show you guys the LS is on the ground so I want to make this clear Houston is in like four days for us it is Monday I think we're leaving Wednesday uh, get there Thursday either Friday Saturday Sunday Monday and head back I'll show you what I did for the strut towers in a minute but car is on the ground uh, the rear will be lower when I get home the front will be lower when I get home but no idea what Houston roads um, have in store for us as well as the first time the LS has been out in I don't know how long uh, so today is going to be fixing a couple things that I want to get ready um, dialing in some fitment making sure I have spacers tools spares check tires uh, brake lines axles, um, tie rod ends, oil pan, the whole nine yards. I'm gonna leave it as it is, at the height that it's at. I'm, I mean, pretty decently happy with it. Um, it's kind of how it was before, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's gonna be lower when we get back to Orlando. Uh, we gotta tuck way more of the wheel. We gotta, you know, put a couple things here and there um, in the front that we'll have to talk about and go over later. But I know the point of the video is first drive. Um, I hope to have it driving today. I think currently, if I wanted to drive it right now, the only thing that I would need is brake lines. If you watched, I think last video or the video before, took the saws off, um, Wes and Danny are bad influences, and I ended up cutting a brake line. So I'm gonna have to do the brake lines today, um, as well as the axles and stuff come in tomorrow. I just wanted to do that as a preliminary cause or preliminary measure, um, just because the car will be so far from home. And then, uh, you know, maybe the basics, oil change, make sure I have slip-ons, make sure I have spacers, um, make sure that the wheels that I'm gonna bring, which I think I'm gonna bring the Volgards as well as the 18 KFs that are on Dre's G. And I might bring the Bristolagios. I think that's what they're called, um, but we'll just see. So yeah, floor, more stitch welds, seam sealer, paint, floor will be done, uh, brake lines, and I think that will be pretty much it for it being able to drive. I do have the front bumper as well as the fenders. So those will go on later and well, just stay tuned for the video. So I'll update you guys in a bit. I'm gonna start getting some tools together. I just got more gas uh, for the welder. I had to run out this morning or I would have finished the floor last night, but it was started to rain. I was out here working on the LS and like for like two hours in the rain, just so I can kind of get as much done as possible so I didn't have to do as much today. But it is early, it's about 10 o'clock. I've been up running errands all morning and I'm ready to get the LS driving again. So like I said, let me get some stuff together and we'll get the day started. Hey man. Where is this? Oh, Where is this, Joey? <laughs> Where is this guy at? All right. Well. Well, you, you guys know what this means, you know. We're prepperizing right now. Is she, getting, she ready or what? Ready enough. Ready enough. I felt that. We're not going to talk about the missing thing on the bumper. Yeah, it's okay. I have that thingy. Oh, well. This is for you, sir. Oh, thanks. And it is a couple hours later. Uh, Vithi is still here, surprisingly, in his white shirt. You know what I'm saying? Pulled up in his work clothes. But I'm just messing with him. But we have the floor pretty much um, done. So the whole point was getting that side done. Um, let's see if I can zoom in and show you. This side, I do have a little pinholes over there. Um, they will be seam sealed, or I'll just put a piece of weld there, by the way. But uh, yeah, so I'm taking the jack underneath all of the pieces that are not so level, and basically just jacking them up, putting pressure, laying a small bead, and then putting it down. Um, I've got a little bit of doing that in the rear, but when I actually push that piece up, it gets really close to that plate. So the whole point of the <laughs> cinema. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But no, the jack is coming in clutch. Um, I'm, you know, as, as you can see, I'm laying a couple beads down. I don't really know where I'm going other than uh, just giving you guys an update. So, like I mentioned, I think in the other video, my brake line that goes underneath the car, I ended up nicking because of the Sawzall, and I'm still gonna blame it on West and Danny. But, I think we're just gonna cut the brake line on both sides, flare both sides after putting nuts on them, and then put a double female. So, 
I mean, that's what I wanted to do. Vithy's like... Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> no, it was Vithy's idea. Shout out Vithy for the amazing, impeccable, out outstanding Lee. idea. Yeah, and shout out Nate, our neighbor. He's a, he's a, he's a, making sure I'm not doing dumb decisions like welding a brake line. <laughs> Whose idea was that? <laughs> that was Vithy's idea. He's like, he's like a magnet just stuck to it. You could just weld it. We did get seam sealer already. So I will seam seal everything. Um, laying still a bunch of stitch welds where I can uh, just to reinforce it. But as you guys can see, like that's like a lot of force. So this is going nowhere. This is going nowhere doing is resting our feet on it anyways um, and then seal it off so that decent amount of uh, water won't get in and we'll just we'll let the water go oh I did not even show them that so like I actually I don't know if I showed them last night but I'm not a man of cutting corners unless I need to so be weary of what I'm about to show you this is just for the weekend so we can make it to Houston um, I cut one side out, the rear, strut towers, and tubs. I need to figure a simplest way to do it, and what I did was put three plates, or three structure pieces, to the strut tower. Um, the reason I also did this is because this entire thing is still connected. Um, as you can see, I've got one up to a plate. I've got another one down here going up, and then I've got one in the back going to the bottom frame rail, I guess you can do. Uh, but I did plate every single one, so I put a plate right there, boom, welded it, put a plate up there, boom, then welded it. Um, I'll show you guys the trunk here in a bit. I gotta find the key. That was probably the hardest part because the whole strut tower like, is like a circle right here and putting a square tube, the, like it was just really hard. So I'm gonna stop ranting or rambling and you guys see the progress and if they made this far in the video everyone go in the comments and uh, put a L fabs L fabs L fabs we were talking about it dude I'm dripping right now it's holy crap it's humid yeah it's moist out moist all right if you've made it this far in the video let me know if you guys like this grill we liked it then we hated it and then we're starting to like it again it, looks different, it's different. it is like super different like every time of the day and it's just weird because it's like it's black with like a dark burgundy car I guess that's what it, you would call this color. I don't know. I hated it at first. I'm really starting to dig it, but on his own time. You think it looks like a Mercedes? Fuck you, don't even comment that. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it, yeah, that's pretty much it, so. And we have arrived. We, uh, well, I guess that once we take these out, we'll show you, but we got Two male ends that are gonna, we're basically gonna cut the brake line in half, put a male end on this side, put a male end on this side, flare them, and then use this as a joint. So instead of doing the entire brake line, which I did buy an entire brake line, but up on the front of the frame rail, uh, basically kind of where the headers are, kind of by the firewall, it's just really tricky to get to. And if I don't have to do that, then I mean, this is easy enough. Knock on wood, as long as this fucking works. Um, excuse my, pardon my language. I'd be forgetting sometimes. But yeah, after the brake lines are done, I will probably finish up doing some stitch weld stuff. Like I said, I did get seam sealer, but I may end up waiting for that. So we'll just kind of see how we play by ear. Um, I do have to make sure that all of the spacers have nuts on them. Change out a couple of the spacer sizes because I think I'm gonna take the Bersalagios off the rear, um, which means I'm gonna have to mix up some stuff. And then I have no idea where any of my five by, or M, what is it, M12 by 1.5 and stuff. That's what, 1.5 is Lexus, but yeah, I have no idea where it went. Fast forward a day later, me and Vithy started doing the brake line, finished that. Charles and Dre pulled up and helped, it got late. Um, I ended up having to make a late night run to go pick up some tires and uh, that took about an hour and a half out of my evening. So we ended up coming back, bleeding the brakes. Um, so all of the Blakes, Blakes, the bleed, the brakes have been bled um, and they feel really good. I've gotten kind of busy this morning, uh, started mocking up some fenders. I only got like two bolts on it. Um, putting the wheels on, getting spacers right, making sure luck nuts. So I kind of sorted all my stuff out earlier and I got like, 
10 more spacers in there. Um, but yeah, moving wheels uh, and spacers and tires from vehicle to vehicle. So I'm pretty much getting ready for first start. Um, real quick, I just wanna say shout out to Brian. Um, that boy came in clutch and uh, covered my shift today so that I could get this thing ready because we leave in, we're loading up in 24, uh, so about 30 hours. Um, so I've got the rest of today, this evening, and then I work tomorrow. So uh, right after work we're loading up, which means this thing has to drive today. So we're gonna get it all situated. Um, it started no problem before. I think I do have to uh, change the battery or maybe just drive it and the alternator will kind of recharge the battery because I have to jump it every time. But um, yeah, wheels are on, boggards are on. I'm getting new tires on those Johns later today. So uh, I think I'm gonna go to Sir S14 and uh, Bar Spin Shop and get those mounted. I want to go for a drive. I want to make sure it drives all right. I'm not too worried about these tires as long as I don't um, deviate or blow out or something on a test drive, which uh, hopefully shouldn't be an issue. Let me knock on some wood real quick. Ended up hitting the DMV early this morning because uh, I came out the other day, looked at this thing, I was like, dang, something looks a little bit off and forgot that I turned in the plate. So the LS has a brand new plate on it. Um, it is now registered, insured via licensed driver, um, Sir Logan Lamb. And uh, yeah, about to get her started up, get it on the floor, warmed up, check over some components, make sure everything's tight, and then we'll go for a drive. I think we are almost about ready to go. So I'm gonna make sure she starts up. We'll give it a couple, couple minutes or so to warm up. Make sure that we get the old green light. And here we go. Safety first, by the way. Uh, this is just gonna be for the test drive. We'll get her going in a minute, but let's see here. Windows down. I'm gonna get a rag real quick, just for uh, some of the dust on the windshield and uh, on the dash. I don't want it all flying up in my in my face. So we'll let it warm up for a minute. I'll check the uh, trans fluid, just because that's the only fluid I have not checked. Wipe down the dash and the window, and then uh, I already put air in the tires and tightened all the wheels up, so we should be good to go. But. And the time has finally come. Uh, I pulled it out the driveway as you guys saw. Felt a little bit of a, like rubbing on something, so I double checked that. Um, it was nothing, it was just a tire. And checked oil, checked trans fluid, got it all. Bringing a jack with me just in case, bringing a fire extinguisher. And then uh, I haven't done anything about boxing this in or protecting it yet, just because we're gonna go to the gas station. Oh, sorry for that. But uh, yeah, she's on the floor. We got uh, the safety goggles, you know what I'm saying? So when we're driving, we don't have anything fly up at us and uh, can never be too safe. So uh, as I say that, chilling. So, gotta get her.
ended up. Beautiful racetrack. I actually did hit another gas station. Uh, I hopped on live. I was acting dumb on live, but you know how it goes. Uh, they only had regular fuel, and obviously, you know, such a luxury steamboat of a vehicle only takes premium. Not really, but it's the best thing to run for it, so that's why I choose it. But here we are. She arrived. We got the safety glasses on. Uh, I guess I don't really even need fuel. I was maybe gonna get some food, but there's a, a little a little shake from the rear back uh, driver's side wheel. So I'm gonna double check on that one. And I don't think it's bent, but um, I don't know. I made sure all the lugs and stuff were tight earlier. I brought a jack with me. I just don't have an impact on me. So we'll just make it home. I'll watch it and be safe. Uh, but yeah, it's outside which means Houston tomorrow. We're gonna load up for Houston tomorrow. Gotta go home, gotta clean it up, uh, get parts for it, uh, seam seal it, uh, make sure that all the lights work, uh, put the bumper on, put, find my headlights, find my corner lights. I got a bunch to do and it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. So at least I've got all day this evening. And even if I, I don't know, wait to pack my clothes and stuff tomorrow um, before we load up after I get off work, then that will be the plan. But here we are. She's outside, I'm outside, we outside. And we are back. As you can see, I already got a little shenanigans going on. Uh, holding this ice pack because like I said, I'm gonna show you my faults. Brother, my fucking hand is so burnt. I made the mistake of like putting my body weight to go like move somewhere because I was in cramped quarters and got absolutely obliterated. But uh, yeah, so Brian pulled up and I'm going to do the spacers um, later this evening. Don't need a lot of light for that. I've been just kind of laying a couple more stitch welds and stuff before I do all the seam sealer, just so, you know, everything is like real sturdy, but none of that ain't going nowhere. Nobody's sitting in the back anyways. And the seats will be on the frame rail. So I brought out the passenger seat. These brackets are steel, whoa! So I may end up just bending those and then uh, laying like small beads and stuff just so Perry can drive with me. But I'm gonna try and utilize these brackets, um, if you can see those right there, because I put the frame exactly where the old frame was. So the back brackets should go on here. I'll probably drill and tap. And then for the front, um, because technically it'll hang down on these, I may weld in little one by twos. I forgot if I said that before. Um, just kind of like as a spacer to hold the seat up and put the front of the seat on those brackets as well. So shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm kind of hoping that the electronics on the seat still work. I mean, it's not in a bad position. I forgot if it worked before, but it will have to do no matter what. And then maybe later this evening, I'll just throw a little something something over there um, just to kind of block off dirt and stuff. But really not a lot of stuff flew in when I drove it earlier. So we're just playing it by ear and uh, about to hit BP real quick. Yo, this is the Brian I mentioned earlier in the video, so he'll have to stay tuned. He'll have to stay tuned for that, but we are going to uh, AutoZone or O'Reilly's to go pick up some parts. Gonna go grab a drink, and the sun is going down. Maybe Charlie Boy and some other people will pull up. We'll keep you updated. And it is update time, so of course I'm making it way harder on myself than I need to be, and uh, I cut, or actually took off the brackets um, for the passenger seat and I'm just welding in flat little one by two bars. I'm gonna put one there, one there, we'll see how it sits, and then if I gotta put um, another one up front, I will, and now I'm probably just gonna weld them up on the floor, so. One step at a time, I look to have that done, or this done, um, probably by the time it starts getting dark, I wanna have this done, and then, uh, yeah, I still got a seam seal, but I wanted to make sure I could do all of this first, so I'm not putting the seats in and out and, and getting stuff all over. Um, that's really the least of my worries. If I gotta do that last late tonight, I can do that. But uh, I also gotta get tires mounted, and I think that's, think that's about it. So seats, seam seal, tires mounted, and then I'll end up painting and stuff um, when I come back. So, all good. Charles pulled up. You got a Celsius, by the way. They're doing, uh, they're installing the spindles right now. Uh, shortened for this bag. Let them air out a little bit longer. Uh, lower, I mean. Hit me up for your spindles. But yeah, kind of just vibing. Beautiful sunset on the horizon. Can you stand up? Yeah. Just like that. 
for you sitting there. Nice. Fuck. Boy. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Bro, I'm like, who is coming down my street? And I was expecting Spooling. like the neighbor or something. Who's the neighbor? No, just like like I, he just pulled in too, so I thought it was. And then you just stopped in front of my driveway. <laughs> you enjoying it or what? What, bro? It's fun. Hell yeah, bro. Fuck a Subaru, bro. <laughs> this is a Subaru killer. Yeah. Quick update. Um, it's one in the morning. Just dropped Brian off. Been grinding on the LS the entire day. So, uh, just got some tires mounted. Um, I didn't feel much because, like I said, I am drained. I'm feeling weird right now. I'm so tired and I work in the morning. So, we got new tires on the Voggards, but uh, although they're 225 40s, they seem a bit beefy, so I might have to space the fender out a little bit. They fit in the rear, um, but in the front, I think they're gonna rub even just driving straight. So I will have to deal with that tomorrow after work. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm not gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow after work, and then that's pretty much packing time, getting everything ready, and then uh, we'll be loading up the trailers and heading out. So stay tuned, um, we got some more video. And uh, hello vlogs coming soon. Buenas noches. And we are back. So I have no idea what day it is, um, other than it's Wednesday and we're leaving. Uh, but for the video, I think it's like day three or something, day three or four. LS, I've been. Uh, I got home from work not too long ago, so I've been kind of getting that ready, cleaning it out. Making sure I got tools with me. You guys can see I got my jack and chair and highway mob tent and some other good stuff packed up in the in the tool bag right there. So I'm doing that. Um, wheels will be coming with me. Don't know if I'm going to be able to fit them in the car or fit these car or if I might have to make a trip because we are meeting Perry at Publix. Um, I said last night that I was going to continue this video tonight, but uh, really, or today, but today I'm really just kind of prepping, getting the last little stuff together. Uh, my front bumper I was going to put on, I'm just going to wait till after the trailer, and then the corner lights, um, shout out Sean, XO Shugs on um, Instagram, I'll put that right there. He came in clutch and is letting me borrow his corner lights for the weekend, so that came in uh, super clutch, shout out to Ty. For uh, letting me use your battery, I'm yamming it for the weekend. He is out of town, and again, uh, big shout out to Mr. Brian for taking my uh, job yesterday so that I could get this stuff finished. So, um, with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are excited for the progress. And uh, the next video is gonna be us on the way to Houston. So, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And uh, if you guys are out there, come say what's up. Later.